Quick note about infield sharpening is don't make the mistake of thinking that you'll just make your knife sharp once you're in the field. Like you have to start out with a sharp blade or it just doesn't work out well for you. Like leave home with a very sharp blade. And leave home knowing what angle you sharpen your blade at. So a lot of hunting knives are sharpened at a 20 degree angle. A lot of kitchen knives are a 15 degree angle. You hear 17. But a 20 degree angle is very common for pocket knives. It's very common for field sharpening knives. Um, if you know that you're doing a 20 degree angle at home on a stone or however you're doing it on a, on a, on a strap or anything, uh, it's good when you come in the field to also have a, a sharpener that has an angle guide. Some people are good enough where they just know, they know instinctively how to do it. But if you don't, I like these sharpeners with the angle guide on it. Because I can come out here and mimic that same angle I had at home. When you find that you get your blade real sharp at home and then you just can't get it right in the field, what's generally happening is your angles are off. You're actually trying to take away a bunch of steel or you're not dressing the blade right because you're not hitting that. So here I use an angle guide at home, an angle guide here, and I just got the ceramic piece. The other key is to not wait until you demolished your blade. Um, if you're working in the field, you need to start out with a sharp blade and you're working in the field and you're doing something big, you know, whatever, a couple deer, an elk or moose, and your blade starts to, to fail and suffer and you can tell it isn't cutting like it was, that's the time when you want to get in there and dress it up. Don't wait until it's just not cutting at all and everything goes to hell. Keep up on it. What's nice about this one too, with the ceramic piece, I can hit here and I'm hitting my 20 degree angle. And then come over here and strop it doing the same thing. So this angle guides me up and I got a leather strop. There's my angle. And if you do it at the right cadence, and you start cutting again, you're right back where you started. It's more pleasurable, everything goes better. It's arguably safer to have a good sharp blade. And that, man, do that two, three times and you're set. Mm -hmm.